everybody and welcome back to the channel Bob here thanks so much for stopping by so today we're going to be taking a look at a watch from a brand new company out of Australia second hour watches the owner Peter has put together a watch that is just really well thought out in terms of design and it's also one of the better value divers we've had on the channel in quite a while now so the watch is the Gin Clear Diver and I'm really excited to share this one with you guys so let's get into the watch. All right, now I have to say right off the bat, I was seriously impressed with this watch when it first came in. Every bit of it has a solid, well-built feel. It looks really good, and there's some unique design features here too. One being the way the dial is laid out with the hours being divided into thirds with those larger hour markers at the 12, 4, and 8. When I first saw that in pictures, I thought it might be distracting, but it's really not at all and gives it an interesting look. Now, one of the reasons for the different hour marker layout is the owner is into geometry and specifically sacred geometry. And it comes through with both the hour marker layout as well as the company logo that appears on the watch in a few different places, including the counterbalance of the second hand, which looks really cool to me. Another neat detail with the dial is all of the lettering and the logo are embossed, then printed, raising them up off the dial a little bit. I don't think it's going to show through on camera very well, but the dial on this one, which Second Hour calls the Arctic White version, has a slight metallic silvery tone and has a bit of a shimmer in certain lighting. The loom that they're using is Super Luminova BGW9. I'm totally happy with the loom as is, but this is a prototype and the production models will have even a heavier application to the bezel insert. The bezel, by the way, has a ceramic insert, and that's another change coming to the production model. They're sticking with ceramic, but are going to lightly brush the polished surface for increased legibility. The action is really good, feels nice in hand. It's a 120 click bezel and protrudes just beyond the case, so it's very easy to manipulate. So I'll throw some numbers at you guys, starting with the case size, which comes in at a width of 41 millimeters. Lug to lug is about 48 and a half millimeters. The thickness is just over 13 millimeters, and you can see we have a really nice side profile to the case. Nice curvature of the lugs there. The lug opening is 22 millimeters. The crystal is a domed sapphire with an AR treatment, and the water resist is 200 meters. Housed inside the watch is a Salida SW200 movement ticking away. So it's really got it all going on in all aspects, and that includes the price, which I'll get to here in just a second. A couple of other things happening with the production models versus this one is the case finish. They're going to be adding a polished edge, a polished beveled edge to the lugs. The clasp already has a polished edge here, so I think they're going to complement each other really well. Second Hour also plans to add drilled lugs, so that's a nice upgrade. And finally, the end link is planned to be adjusted slightly, so it's a more seamless transition from the case to the bracelet. The case back, which has a really cool stamped sea turtle image, may also have an adjustment. I believe they plan to make it a polished finish versus the current bead blasted. There's a couple of other changes, and I believe there's a list of some of those changes that are happening on their site. I'll leave a link below where you can find those. The last thing I want to touch on is the bracelet, which is perfect for the watch. We have solid end links. The links are H-links and completely brushed. They're screwed for easy adjustments, and the bracelet tapers down to the clasp, which makes it wear much more comfortably on wrist. The clasp is signed here. It is solid milled steel, and we also have six micro-adjust holes, so you can get that nice, perfect fit. On wrist, it wears very well. It's really been a nice watch to wear the last few days and is going to be a hard one to let go. I'm trying to think of negatives, but at the price point that they're asking, there really isn't anything major to point out. 
Now, these are planned to be launching on Kickstarter in March at a starting price of 385 US dollars for the first 70 backers and rising in small increments after that. So if you get in early, the price is excellent for this watch. Full retail is going to be 570 US dollars and even at that price, it's a lot of watch for the money. So at the moment, there's four colorways with stretch goals for some possible other colors. I've seen some renderings and they look super cool too. So that's it guys. Second hour has really hit a dinger with this one. I'm really happy with the watch as is even without the updates they plan for the production models. If you're looking for a really good value diver this year, this is definitely a great option. So big thanks to Second Hour for the hard work in putting this one together and getting it out for us to check out. Thanks so much to you guys for stopping by and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.